All right, hello everyone. My name is Arock, and welcome back to another episode of DN Craft Season Two. It is episode two, and um, I have uh, been quite busy. You might be like, "Whoa, building! Wow!" Um, and if we just uh, pop out of F1 here, you might be like, "Whoa, he has enchanted tools! Whoa, he has shovels!" And um, as you might have heard, there's villagers inside of here. So I have been doing some off-camera work. I built a little farm over here to feed my villagers and stuff. If we go in here, I have got myself a lot of villagers. We got a farmer, we got a tool armor, we got a toolsmith, we got a weaponsmith, we got a librarian, and he does sell mending. It is pretty epic. We have a Fletcher over here, he's pretty useful. So it's alright. But I have bought three shovels, and then I kind of broke my gear, so now I'm wearing this garbage gear. But it's fine, because we are about to get OP, shiny, diamond gear. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Look at these boots, like... Death Strider 1, Feather Falling 1, Protection 1, Unbreaking 1. If I combine those, I can get, like, god boots. Like, come on, people. OP. Um, I've also, though, however, um, I also went mining a lot in this mine over here. So, if we pop over here, um, I kind of was doing this strategy where I would mi mark out every diamond vein I found with a soul torch. So, it was, like, blue, blue, blue diamonds, I guess. So as you can see, there's like one over there. That was the first one. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Mr. Yul would. He would get. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I have um, gotten about eight veins of diamonds there. So that's at least two of them were an eight vein. At least two of them were a six vein. And I have a bunch more. So I am guaranteed to get at least a full set of diamond armor. But since I have these guys over here, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. So I am going to build an anvil. And, um, just, you know, trade, get some full diamond armor, get levels and stuff, and, uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, hello, sir, could you please give me... Hey, let's go, cover me with diamonds. So I'm gonna enchant, I'll buy a bunch of these and combine them. And I do have 22 levels, I was planning on, um, enchanting my gear, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna buy a bunch of here, uh, level this guy up and see what chest plate and um, helmet he has. All right, look at me now. Look at look at my armor. Look at my shiny, beautiful armor. And I put a shield here. This is supposed to kind of look like the DNCraft logo. It really doesn't, but you know, it's kind of like the diamond sword there. And I was thinking, um, uh, I need more librarians for better enchantments and stuff. I don't have the levels right now. I have one level. I've used it all in combining stuff and whatever. But actually, let, let me show you. Let me show you like the little, a better tour of this building. So you know, you got your farm, pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, wheat, and then in here, this is the V hall. Uh, I added a barrel here for my villager stuff. If you go down here, this is where I've been breeding them. There's two professionless ones in here. And then behind this wall, I got a zombert. Zombert. He's wearing a helmet, holding his nice little sapling there. And then down here, I built a pumpkin and melon farm. So it's working pretty well. Um, I'm going to be using these to get my emeralds because I think that's just the best way to get it. So I think I need to get more space for librarians. So I think I'm going to build up maybe some sort of clock tower, maybe around this section here. And then we can put like bells and maybe like make it look like an actual clock tower. But then inside are just going to be a few librarians. So I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to be right back. Alright, so I was um, just exploring around my base. My base is just over there, and look what I found. I found a pink sheep here. Um, that is, that's pretty rare. Um, that's, it's just pretty exciting. Uh, so I'm going to bring this back to my base and uh, tag it, just, I don't know, for the memes. Uh, my base is all the way over there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, since we had Cheeto last season, maybe this can be like off-brand Cheeto or something. Something like that. So I'm going to bring this back to my base and build up a nice little pen for it next to... One of my buildings. Okay, so we have got um, Cheeto here, off-brand Cheeto, back to our base, and look at him, look at him, he's, he's so beautiful. We got this, Cheeto? Is this is this Cheeto? I don't know, we'll never know. This could be Cheeto, maybe he's from Season 2, or Season 1. 
But um, anyway, I have finished this clock tower here. I'm just installing like this little bell system up here with an observer and daylight detector um, or daylight sensor. And it is, this is a pretty cool tower, I think. It's a nice, very nice addition to the build or to the base. So you got two floors of villagers here. I think it's like six on this row and maybe like eight on the other row or on the other floor. But up here, I'm just going to plop up here and we have ourselves like a nice little observer chain i basically i'm just gonna hang a bell from there we just drop down here and then every like time the observer changes like or the light daylight sensor there changes um light levels it outputs a signal the observers power the bell i'm probably gonna lower that a bit more maybe add a few more bells but that's that for now and you get a pretty amazing view from up here you can see all yeah like that it like just tolls kind of every hour but basically, if you go around here, you can just see the nice, beautiful skyline of the DN Craft server here. And I think this is really cool. So if you guys didn't know, there's kind of like um, two sides emerging here on the server. Like, it's not, not like hostile or anything, just kind of like friendly competition between like building farms and getting like netherite and diamonds first. And who can be richer. So we've got um, the Yoda Cloud Empire, which has like 816, Mr. Yo 1616, Mr. Yo, Grenwood. Cobalt Crate, all those people over there. And then we have the Man Scouts, because we're all Boy Scouts. Um, but I think we might rename ourselves to be like the DN Craft Republic or something, because I don't really know how we would design a Man Scout flag or anything. But I was thinking, well, first I want to branch off a path to, path to this river here, because um, I want to build like a small pier, just put like a boat here, because this goes out to the open ocean, so I can go to like other people's bases or whatever. And it would look nice, It'd fill the space. And then I also want to build like a flagpole, maybe like right here with the DN Craft flag, because um, well the DN Craft flag we don't have like an actual flag, but I'm just gonna use like the logo, which is I'll I'll put it up on screen here. As you can see, there's the orange, and then there's the little diamond sword with the words DN Craft there. So I've got a diamond sword here from the Ville V Hall, and then I've got a stick. I'll just turn that sideways and put that as the words, and then armor stands will be holding those. And then I got some flagpole materials and some orange wool. But I've been also farming these guys up over here for beds for netherite mining because that just appears to be the best way because don't worry, we'll go we'll go to the nether soon. I just keep finding more things that I want to do on the base and I like building more than grinding out resources and stuff. <laughs> this tower is so cool. But um, yeah, so I'm going to build this up and we'll see what I can come up with. Okay, so I have finished um, the pier and these flags and these flags are looking pretty epic here. Look at these, look at this, look at this, it's the Dioncraft logo, and this one back here is actually my flag, so I'm going to be putting these on, like, every territory or area that's mine. Um, I don't know, it's supposed to kind of be like the yellow's my tie, the gray is like my face, because I am a rock, but I don't know if that looks that good. Um, I think that, that flag looks pretty good, so I'm going to go around and be putting some of these in people's bases, such as Muffin Man and Kison, because they are definitely in our empire, so I'm going to go do that right now, yay! Okay, so we're here at Kison's base here, um, he doesn't really have any houses left, set up yet, but he has marked them out here, so I think, I think he's, he said he was going to build like a Wild West Town or something, and this spot right here looks like it was open, he can take it down if he wants, this isn't like permanent, but I have added a Republic flag here, and a sign. The Encraft Republic. So, on to Muffin Man's base now. And I have constructed um, a nice little flag here. Um, and I think it's looking pretty cool. So, uh, the Encraft Republic. Anyone who joins the Republic will get a nice little flag there. I am geared up here. I have my materials for laying out a foundation in the nether. And then I have my fire res potion. I have got all rid of my good diamond boots. So these are all villager gear here. Um, so if I die, I can just get it back, but I am my plan is to not die, because, you know, I don't, I don't really like dying, no one likes dying. But, um, let's just go, honestly. Ooh, the nether! Yay! Okay, so I am in the nether here, this place is so stressful, I've gotta say. I almost, I had a few close calls with some hoglins over there, I almost died in the lava right here. Oh, but anyway, I think I found the perfect spot. We have found, like, this little inlet here. So I think what I want to do is, like, have a sort of mine building right above the lava. Like, right here. Kind of in this, um, general area. So I think I'll just put down a sign here and say, This area claim... Claim... By A-Rocks 024. 
Um, so basically, I left my mats at home because I died actually earlier. I managed to get all my stuff back, but I didn't want to lose all the building materials. This would actually be perfect. So basically, we'll just have a tunnel kind of going back there. But I've created a little platform here. I'm going to start laying out some stone and stuff. And maybe we can get even tater tot on this project. So that would be pretty cool. So I'm going to start building and hopefully try not to die here. This place is so haphazard. All right, we have finished this um, nether mine here. And I think that this looks really cool. So... Um, let me just give you a quick tour of the place. So we've got, or of course, this is a DNCraft Republic mine. Uh, this is no Yoda cloud mine. We've got some decoration here. We have some storage for all the junk we get while mining, crafting tables, furnaces, and of course, the wonderful lakeside lava prime real estate view. Which of course is boiling hot, so I don't know if you'd ever want to live here. But without further ado, let's get mining! Yay! <laughs> Oh, let's go, dead. cinnamon Rolo. Oh yes, let's I, go. I got two cinnamon rolls. Let's go. I got, I got, I got, I got one, two. Is this a third cinnamon roll that I smell? This is only a two cinnamon roll. Let's go. Okay, wait, ready? Let's mine it at the same time for the wait. epicness. You ready? Okay. Wait, wait, no, Three? I'm not ready. Yet. No, 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 no. Wait. Fatty. I, I have to get rid of, like, I, there's like lava in mine. Only the third bed, and we already have some. It was my nice... second bed, Lamau. Okay, okay, oh. ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. Oh, oh yeah. Takes so dude. Long. Oh, takes... my. <sighs> takes so Sinnerals. long. Hey! Hit it wet. in the depths. Let's go. Cinnamon rolls. These cinnamon rolls are like. Let's, let's go. Okay, back to bed, man. All right, so after a successful mining session, we have got ourselves a grand total of 19 ancient debris here. That is four ingots plus three. Put those back, because you need four to make um, uh, one ingot there, and we got three, so if we get one more, then we can make five ingots. But oh, that, that, I'm just so hyped right now, because I only mined for about two hours. Um, I used beds most of the time, but I strip mined it a little bit at the end, and I found a three vayner, so I got lucky there. Um, I don't know if you guys caught that in the time lapse, but I died. Um, like I tried to place some netherrack, and then a bed was somehow in my hotbar, and I accidentally placed that and clicked on it, and blew up. And then I died like so many times trying to get back here, because we didn't have this um, nice little ice road up here. 
Um, but before we did, we didn't have this, um, so I couldn't just zoop on back here to grab my stuff. I had to walk back to that crimson forest. I had to try to not die, which is pretty hard wearing no gold armor and stuff. But anyway, um, let me get back here, take your boat, and you go... Where do you go? Oh, you go up here. Wait, no, you don't go up here. Hello? Where do I go? I don't know, I didn't build this tunnel, so I don't know. Okay, but anyway, you come back down there, and then you get, um, here. <laughs> I guess Keeson broke that uh, tunnel there, or something. But I'm gonna head back to my base, and now is the time that we get to use our very fancy Smanty Forge here, because we are going to be smelting up our ancient debris. Okay, so we are here at the forge. We've got ourselves our ancient debris, and we're gonna pop this all in the furnace, and it is going to turn into netherite scraps. Um, it's just pretty, pretty neat. Um, should put on my diamond helmet as we wait for this thing to smell. And we use this smithing table here to upgrade our gear, but I'm not gonna upgrade our gear yet, um, because once we get four, there we go. Four netherite scraps are there. And as you can see, we've got a new crafting recipe. Well, we don't need that because the recipe book is for noobs. Um, we got a netherite ingot. Let's go. So, you might be thinking, what do you want to make? You want to make a chest plate? You want to make a sword? Do you want to make... You want to make? What do you want to make? What? No, I want to make a lodestone. You might be like, a lodestone. Why? In order to craft up a lodestone, we need eight chiseled stone bricks, like that. And then we plop in a netherite ingot to get a lodestone. And you might be like, that was such a waste of netherite, what are you even doing on the server? Um, it's actually because, this actually serves a purpose, I'm not just doing this just to like, flex and be, like, a meme. But if we go all the way back over here to our mine, um, we can actually put this in our mine. Alright, so we are here at the mine, and we are going to be putting our lodestone right here. And you might, uh, for those of you who don't know, if you have a compass, and you right click it, it, um, locks onto the lodestone, and we get a nice achievement, country load, take me home, I shouldn't sing, but it'll always point to this, so as you can see, it's pointing, it's pointing, it's pointing, it's pointing, and this will be very handy, because whenever we go into the, um, mine here, um, if we're lost, we can just look at our compass, and it'll tell us where to go, so, I, I didn't just do this to be a meme, it was actually, had some purpose. So, uh, let's go back to the base and use the rest of our, um, netherite properly. Alright, so I have smelted up the rest of my netherite scraps here, and we are going to craft these into ingots, yay! Um, there we go, three netherite ingots, and I don't know what I'm gonna use these on. Mr. Girl recommended a sword, so I'm probably gonna do one for my sword. Um, I don't know, I might save the rest. He said that the armory didn't really notice too much, maybe a pickaxe? I don't really know. I need to get a good- I need to get good armor, though, first. But, um, in case you guys didn't know, netherite actually has better enchantability than diamond. Um, and if you don't know what that means, basically, in this, uh, enchantment table here, when you have, like, a netherite thing and you put it in, you're gonna get better enchantments with netherite than if you had an unenchanted diamond thing and you put it in. So I'm probably gonna get some diamond gear from this guy over here, and then grindstone it, and then turn it into netherite, and then, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what enchantments I can get. Alright, so I have myself here, my diamond sword, and my netherite ingot, so we are going to upgrade gear here, and there we do, we did it. Netherite sword, boys, look at me, look at me, I'm a true professional now, look at me, ah, I'm so good at the game, wow! Okay, I'm sorry, I will stop, but, um, let's actually see what type of enchantments we can get on uh, this netherite sword. So we plop this in here, I don't have any of the levels, but what do we get? Unbreaking 3, question mark, question mark, question mark, okay. Unbreaking 1, okay, so I have a feeling that this could possibly have sharpness or something. So I'm gonna just plop that, actually I'll put this in my ender chest, this is, you know, this is a valuable sword right here, this is a very expensive sword. Um, but I did indeed get a fortune 3 pickaxe, so I think in order to end off today's episode, I'm going to go, and I'm going to mine all the diamonds that I got, or all the diamonds that, um, I found off camera. As you can see here, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, and Breaking 3. So, you know, we can get some XP from that. So, uh, let's go! Yay! Ooh! Diamonds! Ooh! Diamonds! Yay!
Ooh, chunky diamonds. Let's go. Ooh, diamonds. Ooh, shiny, shiny diamonds, diamonds. Let's go. And there's water, there's water, there's water. Oh, no, no, not good, not good. Ooh, hello there. Shiny, shiny, shiny blue rocks, shiny blue rocks. Oh, hello, torch. Oh, more shiny blue rocks. Shiny, 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 shiny. Hello there. An eight vein. I see. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I will eat all these yummy diamonds. Yummy, yummy. Yes, let's go. More diamonds. Diamonds are good. Diamonds are great. Yay. All right. After that successful little diamond gathering session, we have made a lot of diamonds. And we have made 64 and 28. That is nearly one and a half stacks. So... Um, we are- we are rich now, people. We might be one of the richest people on the server. Um, which is pretty great. Um, I'm gonna put these in my ender chest. I'm not gonna use these for armor or anything since we have our V-Haul. But once shops start popping up, you already know I'm about to be spending my money on expensive things. So, uh, uh, we've had quite an eventful episode, um, today. And we can add this to the pile. And we have exactly one and a half stacks of diamonds, which is actually perfect. Perfect. So then we can just throw in our gold, our netherite, and, of course, our one iron ore, and our pickaxe. No, we aren't putting that in there. But I am afraid that that is all the time we have for today's DNCraft episode. We have got a lot done today. We worked on the V-Hall a little bit. We got a, sh we got a Cheeto. Cheeto? Question mark? We got a tower. We got netherite. We got full diamond. We are rolling in the money, people. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, and I will be catching you all in another video. See ya!